Nice. And you did a lot of really great stuff um, improving the efficiency of writing to Git. Like I know when we initially created this, uh, it was a lot slower than it is now. Yeah. So yeah, I can uh, kind of pop up in some code here. And look at that. So for the equity data set, there are uh, hundreds of, of data sets basically because every county uh, gets its own data set because we're the way that website's working. You're gonna you're gonna you're gonna um, filter data by county. And when you do that, it pulls in a new a new JSON data set. So every single uh, all the data that we're tracking, we have to republish it in all the different counties. And doing that in GitHub initially, um, there's a lot of individual work to publish each file as a commit, which is sort of like the default way of doing things. Basically saying, I want to put this file in GitHub. Um, there's a lot of IO involved in that, uh, making a commit uh, in the history and pushing the file and verifying everything. And so we were originally doing it as a, uh, a, one, at a one at a time process, which is uh, extremely expensive um, bandwidth processing wise. So it took, uh, I don't know if you remember how long it took, but it was, you know, 10 minutes. 10 minutes. Yeah. Um, yeah. It took 10 minutes to run the job, which at that point for functions of service, you're sort of running into a barrier where um, there might be a limit in the amount of time it can run. So I think we were we were concerned about hitting that. Uh, so then I did some more research on uh, on how to use GitHub um, to do large data sets and discovered that uh, using a GitHub tree was the appropriate way to do this. We actually create a single structure that contains all the data and upload it as a tree and then um, using more technical stuff, but basically use, using the, the, the head um, hash and oh, oh, yeah, that's, using some, some tree magic, you basically upload it all together and uh, it's extremely fast to get it deployed. You can deploy a large amount of data uh, and GitHub doesn't get confused. It thinks it's all one big commit, which is great. And it is, uh, and that makes the deployment much faster. And then in recent times, we've had even bigger data sets uh, for the, uh, I'm looking at the actual final data set. This is, this is our static data repo. This is where all the data is going. So I can kind of review what's going on. So this is uh, confirmed cases and uh, you see I'm scrolling, it's gigantic. Um, there's a ton of data. So this is like epic data size here. We're doing a, uh, you know, a, a date value row for every day for uh, like since the beginning of, of the pandemic pretty much. Um, and that's just confirmed cases. We're doing the same thing for confirmed deaths and uh, you know all six different data points here. And so there ends up being you know hundreds and hundreds of of data sets with with hundreds and hundreds of rows. Um, and so this actually required putting it out in multiple trees because there's actually a limit to the size of the tree you have to do. So I actually have to break it into multiple trees and uh, and keep track of the, the, the commit head. And you know, it's, it's, there's a lot of GitHub mumbo jumbo that has to happen to make this work, but now we can, we can do pretty much any size deployment and it happens fairly quickly. Um, so, and that took a pretty good amount of research to get that going. So that's just one of those magical things I just had to come up with. So. That was really slick work. I mean, taking it from minutes to seconds and processing time is really cool. Yeah. That's it's one of those fun coder things, being able to take something that's that's not working great and then make it work really great. And then, you know, you just get to brag about it later, like I'm doing now. <laughs> <laughs> anyway.